Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is going to be a little mishmash of just vlogging, obviously um, sharing little projects that I'm doing, little life updates. It's turning into autumn, so I'm thinking like making this uh, an autumn vlog series because I do miss vlogging and I definitely want to practice. I don't want to sit down and like ramble on in front of the camera for ages, so yeah that's why i want to just do this get back into practice so first things first is a little thrift haul i went yesterday to goodwill after my dentist appointment and i got some really fun things like things that are different and out of my comfort zone this is my pile it's very green and blue as you saw i also just finished doing my hair and i used two products that are a bit different the wow spray and the Uidad gel for humidity I've used before, but the WOW spray actually did do something. Um, so I'm impressed. I was always scared to use that because I was like, no, it's not gonna work. But it did pretty, pretty well for just being a spray. So there's the hair. I'm also doing a center part. Not sure if I'm gonna keep it, but it's fine. So up first for the haul is this top and it's from Zara, it's kids. So that's why it looks a bit like Big on me right here but I might alter it because I just feel a bit weird with it being like that it should be like that this reminds me of a butterfly wing so that's why I got it I feel like tie-dye is out of style but that's you know what it made me think of so I decided to pick it up anyway so I have this which is green and sparkly I love that just looking like the night sky and it's very long, so I'm not sure if I'm going to chop it. So it's like swinging like this. I truly don't know because this is just not a flattering look for me. And tying it up would be just a very, very big knot. So I'm not, not positive what I'll be doing. Up next are these pants. They're by Athleta and they're very, very comfy. Um, nice and loose here. They're like a nice kind of chambray linen type of fabric. Well, I got capris and they remind me of high school so much, but I love that they're cargo and there's embroidery details right there along the edge here and on the top. These are very different for me. This is one of those like I'm not trying to fit in with the younger people, but these pants are also very comfortable and I could rock these. This skirt is a bit dangerous right now because there are pins all along the bottom, all the way around because I have to make it shorter. This is a pencil skirt, so it goes to about right here. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I thought that these pockets went on the back. So this is how I had it and I was like, yeah, it looks so cute, I love these little pockets. And these buttons are very like round and shiny, they look kind of western inspired and that was the vision that I had for the skirt like if i could get cowboy boots and wear it with the skirt that would have been a whole fun look but i don't have those boots so we're just gonna have to make do with whatever boots i have but anyway the skirt goes like this and my husband was the one that pointed out i went upstairs with it the other way and he was like what's going on because i was like "Ooh, these pockets are so cool in the back and he's like i think those are the front pockets which makes a lot more sense i just can't believe that it like fits me like a glove and I can now have a denim skirt that isn't like a stiff denim it's more like a chambray I say the best for last which are these jeans I would dress this up with like necklaces maybe a cute little belt fun earrings like this is just the base because this feels very plain this feels very like I'm trying to be cool um and I'm not trying to sacrifice like my style which is very fun fantasy like um i'll show you one thing that i would do also i'm going to an art show later and i don't know what i'm wearing i'm really thinking of wearing these jeans because i don't know i feel like it would be a good way to get out of my comfort zone when it comes to pants and jeans 
and I get to wear like my nice shoes as in like not my divas that I keep wearing um, it's also why I didn't do my makeup because I'm doing it later so this body chain from free people I would layer on top this makes it feel more fun reminds me of chainmail and I have it in gold too I'm actually overheating there's no AC in this room, so I just get very warm whenever I do um, anything that has to do with dressing. I lied, I got one more thing. I got this vest. <laughs> oh my god. It's a size medium. It's from Coldwater Creek. I think it's a good JC Penny brand. But I got it because of the fabric, but I don't know. I really could alter this and make it just a bit more fitted. Like take it in on the sides. Because look at all that beautiful fabric and texture. I could use this to make a corset. Well, not any of this, but this I could because it's very stiff. But it does have like rounded collars, which is nice. I just love it. I'm about to make myself some eggs, but I actually realized that I have not been outside yet. I think it's very humid. Um, it rains the past couple days, so that's why it's starting to feel more like autumn. But let's just like go outside. Actually, I'm gonna go out the front because it's just nicer out there. So here's the front. We have this tree that like kind of comes onto the porch. I chop it back a bit, but it is just thriving. I would put an outdoor rug and just lay in the sun over the summer a few times. By the way, you guys were on this, which is his bed, and he just jumped on here, on here, and um, he's not having it. No? Okay. Look at that sunshine coming in. It's so nice. That's because it's getting darker earlier, so the sun is just a bit lower. So I wasn't sure how I would weave in like just me chilling at home, cooking food, but I realized that my name, Style Cauldron, which I had not addressed, oh my goodness, um, is all the styles, my lifestyle, my style of clothing. Um, there are many aspects to the word style. I'm gonna make a latte because I have the time and I have not made one in quite a bit. This is the milk that I buy, no tummy issues. It's amazing, whole milk. So I get that fat and I get it at Target for the best price. It's like 4.50 at Target. So I had to make a nice coffee because it's just too hot. And now I want to talk about house things. So, I actually thought that we were moving this spring and we did not move. I don't even know if I've mentioned that, but yeah, we're still in this house, which is kind of annoying. Kind of is being very kind to it. Um, but you know, it's a home, we're making it work. I have been in the process of kind of taking care of the home more. Yeah, now that falls here, I definitely get into a spirit. And this year I am not going crazy with like buying Halloween decorations. I joke about my like fall purchase being satisfied because I bought a fire pit on Labor Day weekend. Well, actually like my husband and I bought it. Um, I didn't use my money. <laughs> so it's kind of one of those funny things. It was 50% off and I've always wanted one. I grew up in the outdoors and I've never had a fire pit cauldron to um, make my own fire. So that's on the front porch. I think I'm just gonna show that to you now because I did move it outside to show it to you guys because it's been inside, I'm not gonna lie. So this is where we have it now. It's so cute. It was only $50, it was 100, so pretty good deal and I love that it's portable. We also picked up this rug on Labor Day. It's from Home Depot. The fire pit is also from Home Depot, but Shmivai loves it. He actually looks so good with it. It's a bunch of colors that I just love and it kind of matches our couch. Like it has a bluish gray and a red, warm browns and black. I came to the realization that black is not really in our lives and that makes me kind of sad to think about. So I'm on a little hunt to get either like a dark rug, dark pillows, something, something more grounding. I'm really over white and I feel like that was a big trend for a long time with home decor, like just 
bright everything, Ikea white and white Alex drawers, and it's just not, it's not giving me cozy vibes anymore. And fall time, black comes around because I have a lot of like black textiles and decor. It's actually what I have right now. This year I'm just feeling a more low-key autumn decor. I think I did this when I was into like the farmhouse style, but I don't want to get too into that. I just want it to be moody. So these florals I actually didn't use a lot, but now I feel them. I have a lot of these cute little things that are definitely fun. I just hang these up in the kitchen, like from the beam post, but they definitely hung like lights and things, like the old owner. I do like this. We're not always in the kitchen. I think it's more like the living space. I want it to be more neutral. These florals are, I need to drink my coffee before I just let it sit. It's things like this that I'm just over. I don't need it and I want to just purge a lot of it. And it wasn't even mine. It was a family member's that, you know, I just adopted a bunch of these items and I was very grateful. I'm not going to use these. I used to decorate my spooky tree. This beauty, on the other hand, awkward thing to address is our coffee table. As you just saw, I put the pumpkin on an ottoman with a wood circle on top of it, and that has actually been our coffee table right now. Our old coffee table, which is a lift top, is currently over there with a bunch of plants on top, and there are blankets inside. And this is a bit awkward because um, I have someone who watches my videos and they actually purchased that for us. We realized that we just kept putting stuff in it and our belongings didn't have a home. So we just needed to like reset our living room lifestyle and not have this big dumping ground and just figure out where things go. And then maybe we can bring it back out. But I will say that I do love having something so easily movable because I'd like to like work out here or stretch or I don't know, just have more open space. But we're not gonna toss it. We're just gonna keep it there. It still looks majestic with its beautiful plant friends. Oh yeah, and this ramp, my husband actually thrifted um, for like $10 and it was brand new for Kiyomi and he has used it. Very happy. It's very beautiful. Wood, carpet. You guys are about to bear witness to what I do um, when I feel inspired. So I've been wanting to rearrange something specifically in the kitchen. So we have this cat litter holder that we haven't used as a cat litter holder for years. And we just haven't tossed it because honestly, it's a good storage solution, but it's white. So it doesn't go with the kitchen. And my idea is to put the toaster oven on it. So here it is. It's, you know, pretty big. There's the opening. I'm gonna seal that up if we, you know, put stuff in there so the cats don't think they can go in there. And this is what the pots and pans are currently on, like a microwave stand, which is fine. But I feel like I would want to conceal all of that. So I'm just gonna clean this up. I do want to paint it eventually to like a green because the floors have green and that would brighten up the kitchen. Um, but yeah, that's what we're trying. It was over there in this dark corner. This is our storage room, as we call it. And there's just a bunch of like stuff, our coat closet, because we don't have one. Um, and things that need to go in the basement or away. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And hopefully it like changes up the space a bit. been a while. I've done so much arranging. Um, took a turn and made a coffee bar instead of putting the toaster on top of that white thing. As you can see, the toaster is behind me. So it's kind of like tucked away and hidden, which actually is really nice. I feel like I'll be more likely to unplug it when we're not using it. So this is what I ended up doing. We have this tabletop that Michael was actually using as a desk and it actually went on top of this base. I picked it up off the side of the road and put the top that I made and finished on top of it because I just like the lighter wood and it's real wood. This is not real wood. So yeah, I feel like it looks good because the kitchen is kind of warm. Like you can see up there, there's like brick and it's a dark 
warm wood so it kind of goes I really wanted to put a tablecloth like a spooky one but I just know that like if sugar spills or coffee grounds spill if coffee grinds spill English um, it'll just be a mess so this looks really like cute and cozy we have both of the coffee makers it's kind of fun because I can pour the water from above for both of them which makes it really convenient just having it all open the top is not really that different I did add those branches that were in another room and this is our tray that we've pretty much had like that and I put that bouquet of flowers in the back because it just looks pretty adds something and then this piece of art is there because I'm hiding this which is from the kitchen island or kind of peninsula that we made and we do not know if we have this paint color if it's in the basement so it's just been an eyesore and I do not want to stare at it every single time that I come over here so there's that and the inside or I should say up here we have the splatter screen our main big pot and then inside is some more pots and extra coffee and pans we don't use too often but figured I'll just use that for storage over here is the toaster with the wood on top from the cart a cork board pot holder <laughs> and then some flowers that were on our table actually and that curtain is back there because I don't want to see it from the back and when there's company over we can kind of see into the kitchen when we're in the living room like in the beyond so that's why that curtain's there and it does look really cozy and then just nice and open I put our like hot water percolator here to cover up that um, yeah there's nowhere else to put their water so it just lives down there and yeah it just looks really nice and open now I have to quickly clean all this up and start getting ready for that art show it's been a little bit since I last vlogged I just wanted to quickly pop in here and close this one out because the next vlog will be a little adventure up north. Michael and I are about to head out in a couple hours to a state park um, upstate New York and I've been wanting to do this for a while so I'm really happy we're doing it in the fall. The weather is really nice. It's like a high of 70 and we got an Airbnb so I'm just really excited to get away before it gets really cold and do something different. There's so much that New York State, the Northeast has to offer and I have not even dipped my toe into many of these places so very excited. I'm actually packing right now like there's my luggage. I'm just chucking everything in and my style for this trip definitely is going to be less sporty but still some sporty elements. It looks so magical up there and I just want to I don't know make it fun with my style so hopefully my feet survive because I haven't gone hiking in a while so I'll get to all that in the next vlog but thank you guys for watching stay tuned for that and I hope you're having a great end to your summer so far summer so far oh my god this this hair